everybody it's your boy max here and welcome everybody to vancouver winter vlog number seven and it is not raining but it is going to <laughs> look at these clouds bro i'm about to get absolutely fucking poured on what are we doing here this guy almost hit me three fucking times typical uber driver hope he gets one star doesn't even pay attention um i'm rocking the van giants hat that i got yesterday and it's honestly it like i love good fitting hats that are like they're called like trucker hats but uh they're like i don't know they're this type of style they're my favorite easily but yeah these clouds they're uh they're not looking too hot i will admit so especially over there whew, about to get absolutely stormed on i also realized too that i could have been putting all these videos in 60 frames per second so this this is now in hd 60 frames per second i have the option to go 4k as well but i feel like that will just like suck up way too much storage and it's just kind of unnecessary because a lot of people won't actually view it in 4k um but like i, I don't know is 60 frames better than 30 because like i've had it on 30 the entire time and then when i was filming some of the van giants game i don't know if you guys could tell in the vlog but there was some of the uh some of the clips I, I was like whoa i could put it on 60 frames and so i did it but yeah let me know what you guys think does it really matter does it make a difference obviously i think it'll be more smoother than the 30 frames the last clip i just recorded was in 30 frames so if you notice a difference then i'll, I'll keep it well, for the first time i actually don't have to wait at this crosswalk oh that's amazing i don't know small victories people i'm gonna run though so this bus can turn left but uh on the sky train i think i'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail it's pissing me off it's really windy today um and i just feel like putting in a ponytail but i don't have any uh, elastics they're all in my bag one of my favorite views every morning just walking across those train tracks i love it we are in one of my favorite parts of vancouver we're in gas town um all the roads are like roads and sidewalks are like cobblestone it's like it's like europe basically i uh one of my uh one of my top places in vancouver to come and i highly recommend it it's just it's basically downtown it's right by waterfront station um yeah all the all the roads are are cobblestone it just feels like old old europe you know it's very narrow streets as you can see very narrow streets um a lot of shops a lot of there's a lot of tourist shops um yeah it's, it's one of my favorite places in vancouver highly recommend it if you're ever here uh, it's just, uh, it, it gives you one of those feelings that like you can't really describe. Graffiti behind me on that whole wall and around that whole thing. Um, I don't know how they got up there, but I'll show you a better angle across the street. The bus is just gonna take it. One second. There's a glimpse of it. The tree's kind of in the way, but it goes all the way around the other side of the wall. I took a bunch of pictures and I'll probably post them to Instagram if you wanna go follow me on Instagram. The link is always in the bio as it usually is. Um, I also didn't realize there was somebody standing right beside me when I said follow me on Instagram, so that's embarrassing, but I'm a YouTuber now, and a TikTok star. They should be asking me for autographs. Self, I think it's like, graffiti is super cool, especially like the really talented pieces like that. Um, they're super cool to look at, and I think if you have like designated areas or if like um, a building owner is like gives permission, I think it 100% should be allowed because it's it's talent, it's art, and it's... I think it should be uh, should be accepted a bit more because people kind of look down on it. Like people, obviously, if a building owner doesn't want that, then of course it's vandalism. But like, I don't know. Like a, a section like that, obviously, it's allowed, and I think it looks really dope. It brings like color to the uh, to the city. Let me know what you guys think about it. Wondering what that smell was, but it's it's Costco hot dogs. I'm back at Roger's place somehow. Um, I'm starving, by the way, so. I'm gonna try to find a sit down restaurant to eat at. I know Boston Pizza is kind of around the corner. I kind of want Boston Pizza. Hmm. But I'm also going to a sports bar later tonight to watch the UFC. So do I want to go to a Boston Pizza, which is basically a sports bar again? I don't know. But this person's trying to turn right, so I'm gonna cross super quickly. Um, and we're gonna go under the sky train. It's pretty loud. Eight people honk at the same person because they weren't going on the green light. Must have been asleep, bro. Gotta pay attention, my guy. What do you mean? I was here uh, in the summer, but um, I'm going to go to uh, Red Card over there. Um, 
they've got like a like a lunchtime thing where you can get a burger fries and a beer for like 15 bucks so i'll go do that and that'll time me over for a bit until uh i'll time me over a bit until i go to shark club but yeah i do remember liking it here one of the best burgers I've had in Vancouver um, that was so good and it only came up to after a tip it was like 20 bucks which like I can get the same thing for 20 bucks at like A&W or McDonald's or whatever it's so, like literally going to A&W yesterday cost me like 14 15 so and that was way better um, yeah definitely recommend red card for some reason I uh, I remember liking it but like it wasn't like for some reason, I never wanted to go again. I don't know why. Also, because I had found the Shark Club, which I like a bit more. But that's a, that was a very good place. Um, the The offer that they had was only from like 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. So it's like a lunchtime thing. So well, I'd recommend it. Some of me being in Red Guard, it rained. Like all the sidewalks are wet. So that big cloud that y'all saw at the beginning of the day, um, I guess I passed over. Must have, because it's not raining anymore. It's clear skies. For the most part i mean behind me it's kind of darker but ahead of me is all no clouds so i guess i guess i missed it so the fuck the leaf sticker that i got at the canucks game has just been spread around vancouver like other people got the the stickers and they've just been spreading it around and that, that's amazing fuck the leaves time probably the last time at the shark club what a, what an amazing time bro um, I last minute decided to put some bets. Um, I put some bets on three UFC fights and the Bruins game, and I ended up winning 260 bucks. So, I, I, then not a bad night, I gotta say. Not a bad night. Also met a couple really chill guys, like from Ireland and, and England, who were hanging out. We were watching the UFC together. Um, really, uh, really chill people. Shout out to Ross. Definitely fantastic night of fights. Really, really good. Um, I had like six beers and I'm not even feeling anything. I also ate a lot too though, so that's probably part of it. But um, yeah, really good night of fights. Uh, I don't know if I'll, uh, I'll be going back tomorrow. Um, I got a reminder at, that I have to check in for my flights, which I'll do when I get back to the hotel. And um, my flight takes off at 7.35 at night. For some reason I thought it was later, but I land in Saskatoon at like, Excuse me, at like 11.30. So, um, at 7.30, here is when I leave. So I have to be at the airport for like five. Um, so I really won't have a long day tomorrow in Vancouver, which is kind of okay because I, uh, I don't really want to be lugging my suitcase around everywhere. But I do have to pack all of my stuff in my suitcase and, and shit like that. So, other than that, shouldn't be too, too bad. Shouldn't take too, too long to do it's not like i have a lot of stuff i've been here a week it's about, i haven't been here in my, like my whole life but yeah it's gonna be tough because like i, wa I would want to come back in the summer 100 i'd want to come back in the summer um i want to go to a bar i wish i had like this sort of relationship with people at the bar in saskatoon and maybe i should just go but like one of the main reasons i want to keep coming back to vancouver is for the relationships and friendships i built here you know what i mean but uh oh well stuff for future max to complain about um i would like to say like i don't encourage sports gambling i would <laughs> it's it's a very risky thing i put 25 bucks on the biggest upset of the night because i'm like hey you know what i had a weird gut feeling that juliana pena was gonna win i had a gut gut feeling so i put 25 bucks on i'm like if i lose 25 bucks what's like oh well right and if i win it's like 200 bucks so and i won so and if you want to see the video of the reaction, go check out my TikTok. Obviously, links in the description. Why do you know me from TikTok anyways? But yeah, I, uh, the reaction's there. It's crazy. The whole bar like exploded. Um, I've never watched a UFC fight at a bar. That definitely won't be the last. I'm this whole trip, I've been able to walk in the Chevron and it's the last night that I'm staying here. I was actually able, I got a piece tea and some chips. I don't know why that made me smile. But yeah, today's the last day that I'm, night that I'm staying in Vancouver. I already explained all that. But it's also gonna be the last night. Okay, before I go on. Like, I wanna go back to, I wanna come back to Vancouver. I'm already here and I wanna come back. I wanna come back in the summer. Um, but I also really wanna go to Toronto, as I've explained in past vlogs. So, 
I think it's gonna be a little bit since till I'm back in Vancouver. Which kind of makes me sad. We are back in the Airbnb. Whoa, that made me really lightheaded. Um, yeah. Also, this is the peach tea I got. It's very, very important details that I think need to be addressed. Where the fuck is it? There it is. We got the uh, raspberry. So, yeah. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, hit subscribe, and uh, we'll uh, head back to Saskatoon tomorrow night. Peace out.